All right, what is going on, guys? Um, first and foremost, apologies, my voice is a little messed up. I'm a little sick. If you've been watching my streams, you know that. But <coughs> what I'm gonna do today is not necessarily something that was highly requested, but it was more of something that I think that I should do because it's a question that I get a lot in my stream. People always ask me, you know, like, how do you get better with an M8 or like, how do you get better with ARs or how to do this, how to do this, show me your classes, show me your sensitivity, you know, things like that. But while all of these things that like, you can take them from me and like you can you can put them into your own play style, it's also about what makes you comfortable. Like if I play on like 17 sensitivity, you don't have to play on 17 sensitivity. Like you can play on something that makes you comfortable. That's what sets you apart. Like Danny plays on six and six. Not everybody else plays on six and six. So I'm gonna be going through my uh, my class setup today. I'm gonna go gun by gun, game mode by game mode, setup by setup. I'm gonna do like as in depth as I possibly can. So we're starting hard point, and <coughs> we're gonna make the the normal M8 class. So I'm gonna take my M8. Um, I prefer reflex on the M8 over ELO because typically um, how I play, I want to zoom in further, which is reflex ELO zooms in a little bit less, and um, you can kind of get the reticle lost on the ELO side on certain maps and like certain gunfights. So uh, I prefer the reflex it zooms in further. Um, as for attachments, I'll go quick draw and stock. Now these will vary. Um, but traditionally those are going to be my two. Um, my secondary, I prefer the L-Car in respawn, RK5 and SD because like the one burst potential is a little bit ridiculous. So, um, perks, I'm going to go Afterburner, Fast Hands, Blast Pressure. These will never change. Um, the only thing that will change here is probably going to be my perk one. I'll throw on Flak, maybe. Most of the time I won't. Um, and then I'll have two tacticals. Most of the time trophies. Um, my team kind of runs trophies, but most of the time it's my job, so I'll have trophies on. Go ahead and copy this. And then I'll have the exact same class that I will only use. <laughs> if A, they have a Cerberus, or B, um, like every tactical is banned other than EMPs, and I just want to like spam them, say for like Bunker Hill and Stronghold so they can't break it using like Heat Wave or Kinetic or something like that. Um, and then I'll copy this, bring it down here, get rid of my trophies, throw on Long Barrel instead. And um, this class is going to be basically my uplink class. I will use this in uplink. Um, maybe I'll throw on like a, I'll get rid of Long Barrel, maybe I'll throw on like an EMP and a Semtex. Most of the time I won't though. Um, I'll just have three attachments to play pretty selfish. Um, <coughs> I'll use this class for uplink. These two are hard point most of the time. Like I said, unless um, all tackles, all lethal things like that are banned, I will I will use my uh, my long barrel class instead. Now, say they ban two perks. Say they ban overkill or um, afterburner and overclock. I will throw on um, four attachments. I'll put on grip and I'll put on long barrel. And most of the time, this will be used for like CTF and uplink. Um, because people don't want to run after, no, no, nobody bans afterburner and hardpoint, so I'll use this in CTF and uplink. Um, sometimes, mm, depending on the map, like fringe I'll use this class, other maps probably not, but that is my traditional class. Go on, no car. <coughs> so, those, those are the M8 setups that I, I normally run. Now, I know everybody wants to see my fucking ICR classes. <sighs> I used to use uh, ELO side on my ICR, but I switched to Reflex recently. I don't know, I just kind of like it more. Um, quick draw stock, and I'll run the exact same uh, tactical setup. For hardpoint, now, this is where it gets a little weird. Um, if I'm running three attachments, say, like, I don't need trophies, or I don't need uh, trophy nade, or anything like that, I'll take stock off, I'll put on grip and long barrel. <coughs> That'll be my three attachment setup. Um, I don't know. I don't really prefer stock on this. Uh, I'd rather have long barrel and grip. I know it's like low, low recoil already, but I don't know. I just prefer grip. I'm weird. So that's my ICR setup. Um, we'll do, what else do you guys want to see? We'll do the Man of War. Um, I like ELO on the Man of War. Grip, quick draw, and stock. Long barrel, I don't, I'm not really a fan of on this gun. Uh, I don't know. I, I just like grip more because of the, the close range engagements, uh, less recoil, things like that. So um, go ahead and clear this. Alright, S and D. Now, S and D classes can get a little tricky. We'll do M8 first. Most of the time, the M8 is the only thing I use in, in S and D. I'll use two attachments, quick draw stock, and then I'll throw on the RK5. Afterburner, fast hands, dead silence, blast suppressor. Then I'll have the exact same class, but with black instead, in case I know they have trophies or I know if they're playing like Hella Nades or anything like that. Um, these would be my two M8 classes, and then for maps like, I don't know, like Hunted, things like that, I'll get rid of Blast Suppressor, I'll throw on a Trophy Nade, like say I'm watching B by myself, I don't want to get like smoked out, and, like stunned and naded and all that shit, I'll throw on a Trophy for myself. Um, then we'll do my Sniper class, so we'll do VMP, Quick Draw only, throw on Overkill, 
Put on the SVG, do thermal. Uh, I prefer the stage fright reticle. A lot of people have different um, different personal preference. <laughs> From what I've seen, stage fright's really good. I think splice is really good. And there's one other one that people like using. I think it was ignition. But I don't know. I like stage fright. Um, then I'll put on afterburner, fast hands, blast suppressor. Now, you can do a couple of different things here. One, you can just do dead silence and then have a... Uh, second attachment on and then you can put on stock for your sniper but I know most people don't use stock I like stock on snipers for like cornering people or uh, cameraing people throwing a trophy like uh, say you're back barn on fringe people are throwing nades and stuns and shit at you go and throw a trophy down or you can just take the the normal route take off that second attachment put on dead silence instead or you can do what I do this is most of the time my sniper class when I uh, when I play like league matches I'll throw on cold blooded so those are my S&D setups um, have like the stereotypical you know four perks <laughs> two attachments in the secondary. Same thing with Flak. Um, I have my trophy class, and then I have who's in my game? No, oh, I have slow motion. No. And then um, this is my overkill class. So go back over it one more time. Hard point. I will get rid of this. Throw on blast suppressor. Put on an L car, and then um, I'll put on two trophies. Copy this class. It's EMPs instead. And then for uplink and CTF specifically, unless. I need, um, unless, like I said, everything's banned, I don't need trophies whatsoever, I'll run this, this is a little bit more of a selfish class, I'll put on three attachments with long barrel. So, thank you guys for watching, um, I know this is like, this is a class setup video, but I wanted to go like game type by game type, scenario by scenario, you know, if this is banned, what do I use, if this isn't banned, what do I use, if I have, um, you know, if they're spamming nades, that's another thing, uh, if, if you make these classes, don't like just pick a class and then use it the whole game and then complain about getting naded at the end of the game when you have a double trophy class. Like you have to understand what the other team is using in order to help your team the most. So like, off the break of a hard point, you know, say it's like fringe and I want to get um, I want to get those long range kills. I'll throw on this class first. But, um, you know, if my team's saying like, oh, I'm getting naded, like, I'll pull out this trophy class like right out, like right away. So, you know, it's just it's understanding the in-game knowledge to to know what the other team is using. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to try to upload more like the tips and tricks videos people seem to enjoy a lot more than um, than I originally expected anyway. I've been getting a lot of requests to start uploading again, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. She will be live later today. Take it easy, everybody. <coughs> I'm dying, man. Fuck.